everyone, this is Polar Bear and I'm Paula. Today I'll be showing you how to install the phenomenal Elden Ring Seamless Co-op Mod. First, you're going to want to go to the Mod Downloads page, which I've linked in the description down below. You're going to click on this orange button right here that says Manual, then Slow Download, then head over to your Downloads folder, and it should be right here, Seamless Co-op Beta. So just drag that over to your desktop, but you'll notice that it's zipped. So we're gonna have to extract the files before we can actually install the mod. To do this, right click on the zipped folder. On Windows 11, you can just head down here, click extract all. Make sure it's sending it to your desktop or somewhere that you know where to find, and then click extract. Or if you're using a different program, like let's say 7-Zip, you can just go down here to show more options, find 7-Zip, and then choose Extract here. You should now have these two new files on your desktop. Next up, open Steam and right click on Elden Ring. Hover over Manage and then click on Browse Local Files. This should make a folder pop up. Double click on Game. Select both of the extracted files from your desktop, drag and drop into the game folder. Just make sure you don't drop them into any of these top folders here. If you have an older version of this mod installed, you'll probably get this message. Just click Replace Files in Destination. So the way this co-op mod works is through a password system. You and your friends need to come up with a unique password, which will basically just let the mod know that you have permission to join each other's games. Randos can join your game if they have the exact same password as you, so really try to choose something unique. To set this password, click on the Seamless Co-op folder and find seamlesscoopsettings.ini. Go to the section that says password and type in whatever you want. You can always change it later. Just make sure to leave a space after the equal sign. Close out of the window and hit Save Changes. Now we go back and go down to launch Elden Ring Seamless Co-op.exe. This is actually going to be the program that you use to launch the Seamless Co-op mod, not the regular Elden Ring launcher and not the play button on Steam. Clicking on either of those will just launch the regular base game. Having to come to this folder anytime you want to launch a mod would be really annoying, so instead, let's just create a desktop shortcut. Right click, show more options, send to, desktop. If you don't appreciate the clunky naming, just rename it whatever you want. Additionally, if you like to have the ability to launch the mod directly from your Steam library, then you can actually add the mod shortcut to your Steam library. I recommend this because, and I can't stress this enough, Steam needs to be running for the mod to launch. To do this, navigate to your library tab and click the add a game button on the bottom left corner. Add non-Steam game and find the mod on the list. Hit the checkbox and click add selected programs. Now you should see the option to launch the mod from the Steam library. Let's launch the game real quick just to make sure everything installed correctly. When you launch the mod, you'll always get some pop-ups, but you can just close out of all of them. If the mod doesn't launch for you, again, make sure you have Steam running. And there you go, seamless co-op. I covered how to install the mod in this video, but if you're also wondering how to use the mod when you're in-game, you're in luck. I'll be releasing a companion video soon to show you how to join and leave other players' worlds, kick people out of your own world, how to turn on friendly fire, and all that other good stuff. So, stay tuned for that. If this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like and comment. If you want to see the game in action and see how it plays, I'll be hosting a live stream soon with some friends to showcase the mod. So, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I go live. Together, we can take this channel's sub count from very underwhelming to maybe just whelming.